don't intimidate me, you don't scare me, tell me you fuck me up, I fuck you up. I want that son of a bitch to suffer, but I really don't want him in jail. If I do what I want to do and put him in jail when they don't want me to do that, then they're not going to come back. A lot of these girls are um, psychologically beaten down to where they feel like they can't survive without the person that's beating them up. When Kim brought Linda to my office, it was a perfect example. She was completely terrified and didn't want him to go to jail. These guys are just bullies, and the girls are so petite and so scared that they really don't stand up for themselves. It's not love, it's suppressed fear. We went to go see Linda's boyfriend. She identified him, and she was really afraid of him. Well, Listen, buddy, you beat your wife. It's a, you're about the lowest well, form of human oh, being yeah. in the planet. We'll, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow, we'll see Big Mouth. The only way to stop you know, this from happening is somebody needs to put these guys in place. It's the number one cause of death and injury to women in this country. And I know that because my mother died from domestic violence, and that's why I do what I do. Let's move forward with uh, actually putting these guys in the receiving end of these situations. Kim and I came up with an option where they can go to jail or they can get in a ring. I have a wonderful stable of ladies. They're beautiful, talented, articulate, intelligent, and the best part about them is they kick ass. When one of Kim's women fighters beats them up, I think it makes a big impression and it sends in a, a message to these women and it empowers them. Getting his butt kicked was pretty good too. I wish I could feel bad for what I did to Michael today, but it was a lesson he needed to learn. I love when I go in there. They look at me and they're like, they think they have nothing to worry about. When I look into his eyes, I see the fear. I know he's scared. He came to me after, he was humbled, and I think we did some real good. I appreciate that he actually gave me this chance and not just sending me to jail. Sometimes these guys want to fight me. I was a defensive end at Stanford University, first team all Pac-10, an honorable mention All-American, and I was drafted by the Green Bay Packers. And I oblige him. I get to kick some douchebag's ass. They're gonna see how a bitch really hits. It may not be conventional, but it works.